What are you made of, hmm? Uh... What are you doing here? Oh, come on, Juan Francisco? You also? Everyone asks that same question, as if we didn't have a right to be worried at all for Ines. Ah, Angela. Nobody is refusing any right, but I believe you have the right to worry all by yourself in your house. Juan Francisco. You also. You also, Barbara. Go to your houses. You worry a lot and leave us alone, okay? What I can expect from you is totally clear now, Juan Francisco. Your nieces are more important than your wife, than your own family. They are... they are my only family. You are siding with the wrong team, but I hope you enjoy it. So I'm siding... with the wrong team. Yeah, Borom. George. It's about time to put an end to that bunch of lies Constanza has been yelling. Everybody knows that Berenice's death was an accident. I didn't even know about it. Don't worry about it. That has been established. The thing is that they are taking hand of everything they can to aggravate the crime you supposedly committed. They want to influence the judge's decision. If you don't stop the fuss they've started, they'll present me as a guy who's capable of killing his wife. And it's obvious that I would also dare to defraud a company. Let's wait and see how things evolve. All I ask of you is not to lose control. Have you seen Fabian and his lawyer? Yes, they are there. George, tell me the truth. How is my grandmother? Tell me that. We have to take her to a hospital. But she's... she's fine. She's recuperating. All rise, please. Good afternoon. From this moment on, we will begin with the presentation of evidence in the case of fraud and other matters concerning El Cafetalero. If those of you present have anything further to state, now is the moment to do so. Yes, Your Honor. My defendant wants to state that his intention was to come here voluntarily in order to withdraw all the previous statements and at the same time, to directly point out the person responsible for the fraud. Mr. Fabian Sanchez Arana. That's ridiculous! Oh, what are you saying? Excuse me, Your Honor! What are you saying? Please, Your Honor! George, what are you saying? Silence! Absurd! Please. 
You have to support me. Madam, please! I can't believe what happened, Mama. Diego can't be so foolish, so stupid. Oh, Juan Carlos. Diego has done so many stupid things before. No, yes, all right. But he couldn't have changed his mind like that overnight. Just like that, in just one day. What are you thinking? Paloma does not deserve to suffer so much. I will look for Diego. I want to speak to him, man to man. Find out why he did this to Paloma. I hope that you're right, Juan Carlos. Dear God. Why doesn't my daughter have a right to be happy? Counselor, what is the matter with you? You don't have to say you that. You know what you said is out of order. You have to None of you is entitled to say anything to me. What do you have to do? doing here? This is a court order! Counselor, you are perfectly aware of the necessary protocol that must be followed inside my courtroom. Mr. Diego Sanchez Sombrano, are you aware of the charges that are presented against you? Only those that have to do with the fictitious exportations and also the fraud against El Cafetalero. Yes, that's correct. Are you aware of them? Yes, Your Honor. Do you agree with the statement which you presented freely and voluntarily in front of the corresponding authorities? Yes, Your Honor. Do you want me to read the mentioned statement to you so you can add or correct anything that might be useful for your defense? No, Your Honor. Very well. Therefore, how do you find yourself regarding the following accusations of fraud, abuse of trust, and forgery of the official documents against the company known as El Cafetalero? What's he going to say? Mr. Sanchez Sombrano, would you be so kind as to answer me? I am talking to you. How do you find yourself regarding those accusations? Guilty, Your Honor. I am guilty. Okay, we need to get these papers to... Order! Order! Why did you do that? You weren't giving me any opportunity to defend you. Fabian. We have a deal. I'm keeping my word. The file Constanza started is also because of you. That won't be a problem for you, Diego. I warn you, Fabian. We have a lot of evidence against you. I'm here because I don't want the scandal to destroy Paloma's career. But you, take it you... Easy, take it easy, take it easy, D. Nobody will touch her. That's as long as she doesn't interfere with me. You think Paloma will thank you for what you're doing? She will never understand that to defend her, you sacrificed yourself and caused pain for your family. What will happen when she finds out? She will only feel betrayed, Diego. She can't feel any worse than she does now, George. Very well. The next hearing will be scheduled for... Excuse me, Your Honor. The prosecutor's office respectfully asks you to schedule it as soon as possible. The defendant has already admitted his guilt. The term of presenting evidence has to be respected. Which evidence can